Today we show you how you can create a basic letter system in New Decay. So first of all we will create an icon that will pop up when the player gets near the ladder. So this tells to the player that there is something to pick up. And after that we will display the ladder on the screen. So to do that just add a letter static mesh to your level. Like this one here. Then do a right click onto it and convert it to a mover. So convert and then to mover. I've already done that. After that add a trigger. So do a right click. Add actor. Add trigger. Then scale it up or down. I will scale it up a little bit. Then place the BSB brush to the mesh. And add a dynamic trigger volume. So go to volumes and dynamic trigger volume. Now with the dynamic trigger volume selected, go into Kismet. Do a right click. New event using dynamic trigger volume 2 and touch. Now add two set bool variables or actions. So do a right click. New action, set variable, bool. And just copy this. Then connect the first bool with the touched from the trigger and the second bool with the untouched from the trigger. Now at the first bool we have to add a true value and at the second bool we have to add a false value. So click onto this value button here, do a right click onto it and then create new bool variable. And set the value to 1. And the second one should be false, so do a right click onto it, create your bool variable, and here should be zero, so false. Now do another right click and add a draw image event. So new event, hut, and then draw image. Now click onto the active from the draw image, and then add a create new bool variable. Then type in a var name, so let's say this play, and connect it with the target from the both booleans. After I click onto the draw image and in here you can choose the icon that should pop up when the, when the player gets near near the, the ladder. So for that go into the content browser then choose any texture you like. I will choose let's say icon. Yeah I will choose this one here. You will choose a hand or something like that and then just add it at display texture. Now down here you have to type in 1, 1, let those two values at 0 and at the last two ones you have to type in the resolution of your texture. So in my case it's 64 to 64. So type in 64 to 64. Then go up a little bit and here display color you have to type in 1. So 1, 1, 1. Okay, now at the display location, you can change the location of the texture, so where it should be displayed. Then at those two values, you can change the size of the texture. And yeah, that's it. Here's the resolution and yeah. Okay, now let's try it out if it works. So close this, rebuild the passes, go to view, value properties, and then choose simple game or none. And try it out, play from here. Okay, now let's go. And it doesn't pop up. So let's go back to Kismet. And let's see what could be wrong. And at max trigger count you have to type in 0. Let's try it out. And it doesn't pop up. So go back into the draw image. And set the is activate to true. Let's try it out. And here it is. So as you can see it pops up. And it disappears when I go back from the trigger. And as I said, you can adjust the position in here. So click on the Kismet, a draw image, and at display loca location you can change it. But I will I will stay like that. So I won't change any values now. But of course you can do that. Okay, now the icon appears when we when we go near the ladder. Now let's go to the second part. So select the trigger. This time not the dynamic trigger, just the normal trigger. Then do a right click into Kismet, new event using trigger 0, and then choose used. Now add a bool var, or a bool action. So do a right click, new action, then go to set variable, and add a bool. Connect this bool to the used from the trigger, and at value you have to add a true var. So click onto it, create new bool variable, and set it to true, so to 1. Then add another draw image node, so do a right click, new event, hut, 
draw image. Oops. Not draw image. Click onto the active and add another bool variable. So right click on uh left click onto it, type in a var name, so let's say display display two and connect it with the target from the bool. Now add another bool. So just copy this one here. Disconnect the value. And this time you have to add a false value. So right click onto it, create new bool variable, and this time it should be false. Then do another right click, new action, and then go, oh sorry, new event, then go to input, and choose the key button pressed event. Because now we want to close the picture with a button when it appears. So click onto it, and here at input names, this little plus, and let's say type in R. They connect the pressed with the bool. After that, add a play sound node. So do a right click, new action, sound, and then play sound. Connect the play sound with the pressed from the key button pressed, and with the pressed or with the use from the trigger. After that, just add your sound to the, to the node. So I will just search one. Um, sound cue, let's say, yep, this one. So just add it under play sound. Okay, now we just have to add two toggle events. The first one will disable this here, so the, the, the icon that will appear when you get near the ladder, and the second one will hide the mesh. So do another right click. New action, toggle, and then choose toggle hidden. Connect the height from the toggle hidden with the used from the trigger. And under target, you have to add your mesh. So click onto it, do right click into Kismet, and then new object values interpret and actor zero. Connect to this target. Now it hides the letter after we have pressed E. Then add another toggle event. So do right click, new action, toggle, toggle. Connect the turn off with the use from the trigger. And under target, you have to add your dynamic trigger volume. So click onto it, right click into Kismet, and new object where is dynamic trigger volume to and connect to this target. Now it hides our trigger volume. So basically, it disables this whole Kismet function here. After we've pressed E, of course. Well, let's put it a little bit up like this, okay. Now we are nearly finished. Now we just have to click on the draw image node. And under display texture, you have to add your letter. So in my case, let's go to this one here. Then I will add this texture. Then under, so here you have to type in one. One, so the size. One is max size and you can go down or up as you like. Then under this here you have to enable the is active. And here you have to type in your resolution of the picture. So let's see, 512 to 512. So we'll type in 512 to 512. Now go up a little bit to display color and type in 1 at every value. Okay, now as I said before, you, here you can choose the location. Here you can choose the size. And down here, you have to choose the resolution. So basically, now it should work. So let's try it out. Go to the build all button. And let's try it out. Play from here. Okay. As you can see now, the little pickup item appears. So in your case, it will be a hand and a little bit smaller and in the middle of the screen. But in my case, yeah, it works. Oh yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot something. In the, use trigger, you have to disable the aim to intact, because otherwise it, it is a little bit tricky to get the trigger work, so just disable the aim to intact. I'll build the passes, and try it out, so play from here. Ok, as you can see now, the little icon appears, now go to the letter, press E, as you can see here, the letter appears, a little bit too big, but of course I can adjust it in the properties of the draw image. Now when I press R, it closes the letter, 
Oops. And as you can see, the ladder disappears. And there's also no icon anymore. So everything worked, and now I'll explain you all the stuff a little bit. So as you can see here, that's the, that's the little icon that pops up. So here we have the dynamic trigger volume, and when the player steps onto it, it activates this boolean here, so it sets the false value to true, and in cause of that, it activates the draw image node. Now when we step away from the trigger, so untouch it, it will activate the false value, then it will set it to false, and disactivate the draw image. That's the logic behind behind the, the popping up icon. Now up here, when we touch the trigger, so when we press E, it will hide our mesh, so in my case the letter, and it will turn off the dynamic trigger volume. So this part is, so there won't be any icon anymore. Then, when we press it, it will set this pool here to true, and so he activates the draw image node. Now up here, when we press our, our button that we have chosen before, so in my case R, it will set the bool value to false, as you can see here, and it disables the draw image. Then, when you press E another time, or when you press E, it will also play this sound here, and when you close it, it will also play this sound. So in your case, there won't be a firing sound or a weapon sound, there will be just a, a pickup or a letter sound. Just a paper that, that makes some noise. So yeah, that's it, how the, how the basic letter system works. I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, thank you for watching.